In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform this image into this one. So all the images are in the description of the video. You can download them, they're all free and just follow along and create the same thing as me. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that ring bell button so you don't miss any new videos. So I opened this image up in Photoshop and I'm not going to change the size here. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And the first thing you want to do here is remove the background. And for this, I'm going to use the pen tool. So I just select the pen tool and make like this selection of it. So I just go around the edge of the tiger. Now once you got the whole selection, just click the first one again and close the selection. After that you want to press right mouse, make selection. Now I want to select zero pixels, so you have a little bit of blur around the edge and press OK. And now you want to go here and create the mask. Now I want to go here again and select solid color and this time I'm going to pick something grayish. Press OK and drag the layer behind it. And now as you can see this doesn't look so right so let's fix this first. So select the mask here, click on the mask, press right mouse and select unmask. And now you want to make sure to select this brush and make like these settings and after that make this a little bit bigger and just brush this fur here. Alright this looks okay and after that you want to click here on shift edge and drag it slightly to the left. Not much. Press OK. After you feel like it looks okay like this one you want to press on this layer of it and go here to the clone stem tool and now you want to make the clone step a little bit bigger, leave the hardness at zero, basically a flow at 100% and make the brush bigger and now you want to hold down alt, make like a little selection of it and release it with the mouse. So selection and press again with the mouse. So that way we are creating some fur and we're just taking the original fur and bringing it to the to the edge of this tiger. Now I want you to open up this photo in Photoshop. Don't worry about this dramatic girl. We'll make sure we won't see her. So just hold on your mouse and drag this in our file with the tiger and drag it underneath the layer of the tiger. We don't need this anymore so I can just drag this to here and let's press right mouse and convert smart object. Now let's work on this tiger so it matches this background. So let's first start with creating a new layer here. Then go to edit fill. And here I want to select 50% gray. Press OK and press right mouse and create a clipping mask. That way we are making this selection only in this tiger. And now you want to select the blending modes and change it to overlay. And let's press Ctrl Command J so we duplicate this layer, press right mouse and also make clipping mask. So we're gonna use two layers here, one for dodge and one for the burn. Let's start with dodge first. I'm gonna go here and select the dodge tool. Now I wanna make sure we have here settings highlight and let's start with 100% and let's make this area lighter. So we have some reflections from this, from this fire here. Just make like this. All right, let's do some burn here. Select the burn tool. Make sure you select this layer and let's do it mid tones here. Let's say around 35% and especially this area here because he's blocking all the light now and I'm gonna make sure these areas are slightly darker than the other ones. All right, let's create a new solid color here. And this time I'm gonna select something orange, like the fire, so something like this and Press right mouse and create the clipping mask. And now you would just want to select here overlay and bring the opacity down to around 10%. So that way we have a color that fits the background because this was a little bit too blue and this is a lot better now. All right, let's create some colored reflection from this fire on this tiger. So I'm going to create a new layer here. Press right mouse and create the clipping mask. And now you want to select something like this as a color. Press OK and just go to the brushes and select the soft round brush. Leave the hardness at zero and opacity flow at 100. And change the blending mode here to overlay. After that, you wanna brush these parts lighter.
let's do some light effects here from the fire in the background so I'm gonna create a new layer here and select something like this as a color change the blending mode to screen and leave the opacity around 70% don't wanna have it too much but now we wanna make like these dots just press on these white areas of the fire to make like this glow coming from it to make this look really cool now and if you see too much of it just press ctrl command u and drop the lightness slightly for the saturation just adjust these settings to make it look better let's create a new adjustment layer and select color balance and now we can make the colors right so a bit more yellow a little bit more red and some curves here create a new curves layer to get these colors really popping out now and let's drop the mid on slightly here so that is basically it but i like to make this a little bit cooler i use one of my presets in lightroom if you check the link in the description you can find all these so thanks for watching hope you like my video don't forget to like it if you do and see you in the next one